Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of 11 Second 11 the show where we take an 11 concept and we break it down in 11 seconds. That's right, 110 seconds or less. In this episode, we're gonna be talking about the powerful global data files, specifically JSON data. So let's put 110 seconds on the clock and let's code. Now, 11D has a lot of ways of doing data, and it has the concept of doing 11D data cascade. And while we won't go into the details on that in this video, we do need to mention that the global data files are the lowest priority in the data cascade. So if you set something in your global data file and then change it, say, via the configuration API global data, the API will overwrite the data in the global data file. With that in mind, let's dive into the code. First and foremost, we have a very simple 11D site. It just has an H1 here. It has an index file in our main app. So if we want to have global data, we need to have a directory in which it lives. The default directory is going to be the underscore data directory. And we need a file inside of that. The file name of this will be the key that we use to access this in our templates. So to start, we're gonna do a JSON data file. This accepts any valid JSON. This could be an object, this could be an array. In this case, we're gonna have an object and we're going to set a couple properties inside of it. Once these two properties are saved in, a name and a description, both things we might wanna use in multiple spots on our site, we can move over to our index.html template. This is a nunjux template, so we can use nunjux to access this data. We save that in and then we have our data displayed on the page. Now, anything that you can do in JSON, you can do in one of these JSON files. Let's add an array and loop through it in our template. These are just the basics of using data files. Anything you can do in JSON, you can do in these files, including arrays and nesting and all sorts of things like that. So I hope you've enjoyed and found these examples useful. If you enjoy 11 Second 11 be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you learned or what you didn't learn or what you want to see in the future. So until next time, keep doing amazing things on 11 and I'll see you on the internet.